Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. Uh, this week, I'd like to take a break from Storyboard Pro and return to Harmony and talk to you guys a little bit about exporting files for print. And um, a lot of the stuff that I say today for the Harmony group will also apply for Animate and Animate Pro. Um, the only thing to be aware of is that when you are working in Animate and Animate Pro 2, these are 32-bit uh, applications, and so um, you do have the possibility of running out of memory when you try to make very large files. Whereas um, Harmony and 64 bits can take advantage of all of the memory on your machine, and so you know it's um, very unlikely that you would run out of memory and crash. In 32-bit applications, just for a little bit of uh, reference here, um, on Mac and Windows, it's pretty similar. It's about 1.3 gigs of RAM that it can use. And so if it goes above that limit, every 32 application uh, will just kind of quit at that point. So, um, but hopefully that will not happen to you. But I'll show you guys the general process that we use here for setting up files for print. So the first thing that we want to talk about here is resolution. And if we go into our scene settings dialog there from scene and then scene settings, it's the same dialog that you'd see in Animate and Animate Pro here. Um, let's take a look at what this is. So basically, when you are creating resolutions in here, you have the horizontal number of pixels. And so in PAL, you have 768 pixels wide and um, 576 in, uh, pixels tall. And in Toon Boom technology, we always work in pixels. And so you might say, oh, well, why is that, Lily? Like, why don't you guys have DPI in your interface? And the reason is that Harmony and, you know, these animation technologies were not necessarily designed to go to print directly. Um, and DPI, what DPI actually means is dots per inch. Um, you might also hear PPI, pixels per inch. Um, some people use these terms interchangeably. Some people think there's a difference. I don't know. I hear most people saying DPI, so I'm going to go with that one. Um, and so dots per inch um, means the number of pixels <clears throat> that will print out in an inch when you print it out onto a piece of paper. And so because we don't usually go to print, um, if you're, for example, exporting out from Harmony and you're going straight to TV, TVs have no concept of um, DPI because a TV that it's, that's an HD TV has the same number of pixels whether it's 32 inch TV or whether it's a 72 inch TV. They all have this 1920 by 1080 um, DPI, uh, not DPI, resolution. So this concept of DPI doesn't necessarily translate to film, to TV, it's really just for print. For web as well, there's no real concept of DPI for the web either. It's just bare pixels. So um, for that reason, we didn't really include DPI in the interface. So when you're looking at the resolution in here, then let's say that I want to create a poster that is going to be 8.5 by 11. So you can't just plug in 8.5 by 11 because we don't have that concept of inches because we don't use, you know, print. So if you think about it, let's cancel out of here for a second and we'll do a little bit of math. Sorry for the, those of you who don't like math, but we're going to do a little bit of math. So the first thing you need to think about when you are thinking about going to print is how many DPI you actually want to export to. So let's say, for example, if you want to export for at 150 DPI, um, people tend to export out anywhere between 150 and 300 uh, DPI. So you can choose something kind of in the middle there. So if you're going to export out at 150 DPI and you want to export out eight and a half by eleven for example you want to do hundred and fifty times eight and a half and that will give you the number of pixels you need in the horizontal direction and then you want to do hundred and fifty times eleven and that's going to give you how many you need in the vertical direction and then you can plug that into your scene settings dialog so if we go back here into scene settings um, I already created some custom resolutions in here so I see the one I put it for 8.5 by 11. If you do 150 times 8.5, this brings you to 1275. 
and then 150 times 11 is 1660. And so that's how I got these numbers here. Now after you plug in those numbers in your um, resolution here, you probably want to save your resolution so that you can reuse it you know, later. And um, so after you just plug in the numbers here, if you hit the save button, now you can give this one a name and it will always be saved in your, um, it's, it's saved when you're working in Anime Pro and um, Harmony Standalone, it's saved in your preferences. And in Harmony Database, which is the one I happen to work, be working in right now, then you can choose whether you want to save it in the database environment or job. So in any case, you have all of your resolutions set up here. I do recommend setting up all the different resolutions that you're going to need at the beginning. That way you just have them here, they're ready to go, and um, you can now start to work on your poster. So now if I'm ready to start working on my poster, I'll select the resolution that I want to work in. If you're only doing one poster at a time, then you just select whatever one you're working on. If you want to try and do multiple posters, then I do suggest um, starting with the biggest one because if you start with the biggest one first in Anime Pro and Harmony you can actually kind of export out other ones um, at the same time. So let's start with the biggest one first. I'll select my resolution there and when you select that resolution what it does is it changes the camera view here to reflect that resolution. And So this is what this framing here is. It's uh, eight and a half by eleven. And so now what I can do is I can go into my scene file and I can kind of just view what my scene file is going to look like. And from here now I can make adjustments to my camera so that the camera frame fits whatever I want it to fit. And so this is how you do it when you want to do the entire poster in um, Anime Pro or Harmony. And I do recommend doing it this way because it gives you full control. It means that you can use all the effects within the technology that you want and you can just export out your final image. And so you want to just select your camera and then um, select your camera peg and now I can use my camera peg and I can re-adjust um, my camera peg there to uh, change the framing so that I can get this laid out the way I want it to be laid out. And I could even put some text on top if I want to put some text or, or whatever it is that I want to do here. So once I get the framing laid out, then what I want to do is I want to export it out. If you're working in Animate, it's really simple. You're just going to go File, Export, Images, and then you just select the image. When you're working in Animate Pro and Harmony, instead you have your network view here. And so in your network view, what you want to do is you want to set up some write modules that you can use to um, you know, export out those images. So your write module, which is usually you have a write and a display at your final composite here. Your write module is where you can configure how you want your images to be rendered out. So you can click on the yellow options box here and you can make sure to save it to a, to a location where you'll be able to easily find this one. So I put this on my desktop and then you know I, I gave it a name and I changed the name there and then you can choose the file format that you want as well. So if you want PNG or TGA or PSD or whatever have you. For me, I don't care about transparency because this is my final poster. If you do want to export out different layers with transparency, PNG4 is probably the best option for you there. But for me, since I'm just doing it totally flat, TGA will do the job. And um, if you do want to render out different sort of images individually, remember that you can always add write modules for each individual layer. So you know, I can take a write module and attach it to the individual drawing layers and that will write just that drawing. So, you know, you just make sure when you add different ones, you want to make sure you give them different locations or different file names so it doesn't overwrite uh, with the different write modules. If you want to render out multiple posters at the same time, what you can do is you can set up your write module. The write module um, that you have that's connected to your scene composite will always render out at whatever scene is the current resolution that you've set in your scene setting. So this is my 27 by 39. Let's say I want to render out a smaller poster as well. I can attach, we have this effect here in Harmony called Scale Output. So I can attach Scale Output after my composite. And then from the Scale Output, I can simply select um, the, the resolution that I want to export it at. 
And if you've already had your resolution saved, you know, in that scene settings dialog, if it's already saved in there, it will appear in your drop down list here. If it doesn't appear, you can add it as a custom resolution. But just to make it easy to do it many times, I really highly recommend adding all your res resolutions in that scene settings dialog. So now you can simply select the resolution here. As long as the aspect ratio for these resolutions is pretty similar, then you'll have no problems being able to export them out um, this way. So for example, if I look at my, my posters that I've set up here, um, they're all relatively similar in terms of aspect ratio. If you check this one out here, 0.69, 0.67, uh, 0.7, 0.75, they're all pretty similar. Um, if I had something going from 0.7 to you know 1.2 for example like really different aspect ratios then you would need to also use a crop just like you do in Photoshop if you do the image resize the image resize is what our scale output is doing and the canvas resize is like what the crop does and so you may need to add a crop module but for similar aspect ratios doing that scale output is the is going to be good enough for you and you can just select your resolution from the drop down list and then you can add another write module, give it a different name so that you don't overwrite it. And then after you want to, after you have everything set up and you're ready to render out, uh, from Animate Pro and Harmony, you do a file export render network. And what render network does is it simply says, look in your network view, find each write module, and, and create images for each write module, depending on the settings of that write module. And um, I'm going to turn off batch composite. This is something for, um, you know, using batch processing in Harmony, but I'll just turn that off. And um, I'll do selected frames, and I'll just do frame one-to-one, -one, or, you know, whichever frame it is that you've set up your poster properly on. And you can just export one frame out. So now, if I want to go and um, check out where the final images are, since I put this here already, Let's take a look here. I have a folder called print test. And so if I look in print test, I can see the small version. And I can see the big version. And they're both rendered out at the same time and you can see they look, you know, they look exactly the same. Uh, from a distance they look exactly the same. If you start to zoom in on the big one, um, you notice that you can zoom in really, really far before you start to see pixels, whereas on the smaller one, um, you know, you start to see pixels a little bit earlier, like here. So, you know, just keep in mind uh, that this is how the resolution um, is exporting it out. You're exporting out individual pixels, and so at some point, eventually, you will see pixels, but, you know, this is a pretty large image, and, um, you know, it's it's got all my effects in it, it's got the full quality, so um, it's really wonderful to be able to export out directly from Harmony um, and uh, export your artwork out to Bitmap without any loss of quality. So hopefully that was useful for you guys and um, you know I'll see you next week.